tonight on Kitchen Nightmares. I've never seen anything like this. Chef Ramsay travels to Monrovia, California, and within minutes, he is caught in the crossfire. Take Cook orders. Your food right, and then you Shut can your serve mouth. It. Shut up. The fighting is constant. You guys can't do your job right. Get out. Nobody's yeah, stopping you. Get out. Shut the hell up. They fight about everything. I'm not the one eating it. Oh, so you want to give it I'm to that fool? We'll find something to do with you. Hey! Including the food. You guys are giving out garbage food. Are you serious? Why don't you take over? And they are not bothered about doing it in front of the customers. Be quiet. The customers are listening to you guys. Stop screaming. At the helm of the madness is a father who forces his children to work at the restaurant against their will. What's your problem? Stupid. And while all this family fighting is going on, some son you are wanting to help. There is a restaurant that is falling apart at the seams. Damn, that's horrible. There seems to be no standards at all. What's he trying to do, kill me? Chef Ramsay faces a true nightmare with a family so volatile <laughs> and so out of control. You're warning garbage. Get out of my Look face. like trash. He may be unable to save this family from themselves. We kill each other here. Rotten food. Move the past and kill them. Then wake up! You wake up! <coughs> Shut the place down! Get out of here! That is amazing! Thank you, Chef. Monrovia, California is located 30 minutes northeast of downtown Los Angeles. And right in the heart of Old Town is the local eatery, Sam's Mediterranean Kebab Room owned and operated by Sam Najjar and his family. 1982, I started working as a best boy and dishwasher, and my dream was just to open a family restaurant with my wife and my kids. And then my dream became true. I buy the restaurant in 1997. Business was good when he first opened, but after a major slowdown in the last couple of years, the only employees that remain are Sam's wife and children. Let's go, Imad. Let's go, Imad. Me and my siblings can't really kind of put our adult lives on hold just to see my dad's dreams come true. But, you know, I kind of want to start my life, but I'm not able to because, you know, I have to stick here with my dad. Nobody care about business. Nobody care. I feel like no one really wants to be here. The place looks a little depressing. The decor, it's a little old. Sitting down, really? We don't really give much effort anymore. My brother just slack on a lot of things. I and mean, just, here, 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 here. Bad, like how bad? Like bad, like I spit it out, I can't eat it. Half of the meat you served me as well. The beef, go, the go lamb, outside, and go the outside. chicken. Go outside. Most of the time, a restaurant is empty, and we tend to have nothing to do, so we start arguing with each other. I put all the numbers on my checks, and that's how you know how many times you guys are taking the food the without the salad? No. Is how is the chicken cold if we take it right off the grill? It wasn't cold. She it was... came and told me the chicken was cold. I didn't say the chicken was cold. Really it was cold. And we do argue in front of the customers sometimes. How is that wrong? There's only this limited space. They come home, I eat hummus, and then we make a hummus, and then 10 minutes later, we make a hummus again. Every day of my kids, they're fighting all the time together. I don't understand why. Dude, Jamal, go outside. This is not where you belong. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Why, why always you guys out? Everybody standing around not doing anything. The stress this restaurant puts on us, you know, it's really kind of tearing down our family. <sighs> Business is very bad. We don't make money here. What the heck is that? $400? This is the only income my family depend on it. If the restaurant closes, we're gonna be on the street. Before Chef Ramsay can make the short drive to the restaurant from his hotel, he is besieged by Sam's children. So you're Sam's kids? Yes. yes. Right. First name? <laughs> Imad. Imad. Yes. And Rhonda? Lena. Lena. We Sam. We Sam. Yes, sir. And Jamal. Jamal. Yes. Let's catch up inside. I was just on the way to see you, Dad. OK, no problem. When we tell Chef Ramsay what's wrong with the restaurant, he's going to be like, wow. So in a nutshell, what is wrong with the restaurant? Um, honestly, I really don't know. He's just scared to let you. He's like, really, like, so He's so stubborn. We all try to get him. It's always a fun thing to go to the restaurant. It's like almost nervous. We're anxious. Jeez, one at a time, please. So I can hear you all clearly. What's wrong with the restaurant? My dad. 
Your dad's. Basically, a lot of arguing. You don't do this for the restaurant. You don't do that. Or the restaurant's your fault. The restaurant's our fault. Headbutts, 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 like what? Everything. Hold on a minute. How many hours a week do you work? I'm working every day from 10 to 10. So you're full time? Yes. Seven yeah. days a week. Seven days a week. We're all like that. We're all there inside and out seven days a week. Why would you all need to be there seven days a week? Because we're the only staff. Is this true? Yes, yes. it is. My dad, he doesn't want to put anyone else in the restaurant, like um, like his staff wise. He it's, says it's a family business. We all have to put in work. He always tells us that he did not have seven kids for us to go and do what we want. He always wanted us to like stay together, stay together in the I restaurant. Mean, but we all have dreams like and goals besides the restaurant. Right. We all have stuff to do, and we when we want to do it, it's like we can't because we're at the restaurant. But now as we get older, we're forced to be there because there's no yeah. other yeah. employees. Right now, who really wants to be there? At this point, no one. Wow. We need help. We need someone to just right. to, to show yeah. my dad like um, he needs to change. He's, he's just scared to let go. I appreciate all the information. I respect your honesty, and I'm going to go into Sam's now. I'm going to see him. Um, he doesn't know about this, right? Did you tell no, him who we are? No. Let's keep it between us, OK? Is there anything else I need to know before I get in there? Um, just be prepared. The restaurant just needs a lot of work. I'm done to get in there now. Yeah? See you back in the restaurant. All right, all right. OK? Right, there he is. Hello. How are you doing? And first Sam. name? Sam. Sam, OK, the owner? Yes. Excellent. And how long have you been open? From 97. And you run it with you and your... And my kids. Oh, your kids? I have seven kids. So it's a family-run restaurant? Yeah, they run the restaurant. That's a lot of salaries to pay out. Oh, I don't pay them any salary. You don't pay your children no. to work here? I can't afford to pay them. Where, where do they live? They live with me in the house. That's why I'm not charging anybody. You're not like charging that. anyone. What, to live at your house? I don't charge that's anybody. A, that's a nice me. dad. <laughs> Let me shortlist you now from Dad of the Year. But they like to be here, right? Yeah. They enjoy it here. Sure. Yeah, right. Right. And in your mind, what's wrong with the restaurant? The restaurant is very slow. I've been behind almost $70,000. Wow. My kids, they're fighting all the time. The children are fighting? Yeah, always they're fighting. Oh, oh, nice, breaking the plates. You yeah. hear that? They fight? Yeah. In the restaurants? Yeah, all the time. If it wasn't you, then who was it? Not me. I did it for the other order. I told you I was working on the other order. Dumbass. Wow. And how would you rate your food out of 10? Uh, probably nine. Nine? Wow. I like that. Welcome. Oh. What happened there? Oh, my God. No, don't worry, I'll change it. Don't worry, I can change that over. Um, what would you recommend? Well, we have the lamb shank. It's very good. Oh, I love lamb shank. Where's the lamb from? Lamb is uh, from New Zealand. Oh, New Zealand. Thank you. You're good to welcome. meet you. welcome. Nice to meet you. Likewise, thank you. Hello. How are you doing today? Very well, thank you. How are you? All right, pretty good. Nice to see you. All right. Um, meet. Hold on. As in meeting place, it's M-E-E-T. How do you spell meat? M-E-A-T. Wow. I don't know if he wants to look through the whole menu, but there's more misspellings than that. There's quite a few. OK. I'm going to see as much as I can so I can get my head around There's it. combination plates if you want to do okay. a little bit of both. I'll start off with a vegetarian combo. Thank you. Uh, your dad said the lamb shank is from New Zealand, so he recommended okay. that. Uh, gyro. OK. Uh, do you know what? I want to see the top. Sirloin, steak and shrimp. Medium rare, please, Danny. Okay. And I think we're fine then. Okay. Wow. Thank you, though. Look at this place. The decor is dreadful. Wow. God, it's depressing. Gabby, ready? Coming up. Okay. Veggie combo first. Me four plates. What the heck are you doing here? You don't put meat with the vegetable. Don't worry, man. Go outside. I got it. I'll take care of it. Wow. Everybody doesn't want to cook food back here. Get out. Nobody's yeah, talking to you. Get out. Well, I'm just telling you guys, you guys can't do your job, right? You're, you're, you're over here thinking that you're putting in the work for everything. Get out. Lots of fighting in the kitchen, and every customer can hear it. Get out. Nothing? Get out. Stop. You're not helping. Him all Get out. The time. Stop. Stop. Be quiet. The just people are looking over God, here. Man. Wow. 
Is that done? Veggie combo's ready. This is the veggie combo. Thank you, thank you. Um, is that eggplant fresh? Is it fresh? I'll check for you. Please. Thank you. You mind? Is the eggplant fresh or is it frozen? Canned. Oh. It's from the can. Canned eggplant? Mm -hmm. No. That's gnarly. That's just dreadful. You think of Mediterranean food. You don't think of canned eggplant. Yeah. And the falafel? Um, the falafel, my dad does that. He marinates that. They're bland. It probably has no salt in it. Jeez. So yeah, I mean, let me get you next place. Um, okay. Dreadful. I'll, I'll let them know. OK, this is uh, Ramsey's plate. He wants to know if you seasoned anything, because there's, like, no flavor to anything. What is it, what is it tasting, like a towel? What's he eating? He just said it's bland. There's, like, no flavor. Give him the gyros. Give him the gyros. Here. Here you go. Take that down. All right. Jar. This is the gyro plate. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Will you ask him when it was made, please? When it was made? OK. Um. He wants to know when it was made. Tell him we get it from a company. It comes frozen, and we heat it up, and we put it on the rotisserie. The slime and beef. Hey, it's not how it's made. Is it, is it fresh? That's what she's asking. Is it fresh? It's not fresh. It's frozen. That's what I told her. It's frozen yeah. because we get it from a company. Yes, you tell her frozen, not That's fresh. That's what I told her. Fresh, fresh that you make it. I told her frozen. frozen. Yeah. Are you talking to the head chef and the wall? I you told understand? her it was frozen. You, can, you cannot lie. I didn't lie. You heard me tell her it was frozen. You, might, you need to stop screaming. The people are listening to you. My dad, you know, he just gets mad and he yells at me, which is stupid. If he doesn't know what he's talking about, it doesn't help anything. Strive. It's actually, um, they, it comes from my company, and then it's frozen, and then they heat it up on the rotisserie, so. I would love to be in a position to, to sit here and enjoy my neat M-E-E-T, but yeah. it doesn't even taste. No taste? I thought it shouldn't, though. OK, let me do the lamb shake. You guys didn't cook the gyro right, whoever it was. Shut the f up. You're stupid. What have you made right today, though? Just tell me. You're Simple stupid. question. So why don't you come back and cook? I should come back here and cook. Fine. Right. Right. Round two. Sounds like a fine start. I need the lamb shake. It's coming. Lamb shake? Yes. Um, wow. Thank you. Mm. You guys can't do your job right. Can you shut the f up. Hey. What? I don't want to hear bad language here in the up? kitchen. Why are you trying to shut up? Yeah, you do. It looks anemic, the color's dreadful, and it just tastes like bland, boiled lamb. You guys are giving out garbage food. Are you serious? You're taking... Why don't you take over? I should. Get then out. Do it. If you don't want to get out. Do it. If you don't want to get out. You're stupid. Do me a favor. Send that back to okay. New Zealand. OK. What about you? What's going on there? Deadly arguing because he's telling him that he doesn't know how to cook. So. Nobody's forcing you here. Idiot, dude. Yeah. Just go back Horrible. to the front. Horrible. Horrible. Who he cares about his opinion? He says that the, the lamb it just tastes like it was boiled in water. And it's, he said, send this back to New Zealand. He tried it. He said, there is no flavor on it. But I believe myself, I make the best lamb shank here in California. They really don't know what to do. Bring in your head. Don't hit you one on your head and finish it. Wait, what are you doing again? Oh, yeah, cooking food wrong. Nobody's talking to you. Stay back there. Yo, yo, you're thinking wow. Stay out. Stay out. I mean, I mean, we cannot keep coming back here. The customers are listening to you guys. Tell, tell him. This is not his job. Thank you. Goodbye. All you do is cut you. You know, two tables just got up and left because all of you guys are yelling or screaming. We can only back here and scream. Hey! Cool down! Where's the where's the thing? Why are you coming? Stop screaming! While the family continue to battle loudly in the kitchen. You guys are giving out garbage food. Are you serious? Why don't you take over? Chef Ramsay has been forced to endure disappointing dish after dish. Do me a favor. Send that back to New Zealand. OK. And there's another one on its way. It's a steak, and then they're working on this gap before it's coming out. Thank you. OK. Me 
medium rare is not medium well. On the verge of well done. Oh, God. It's so annoying. Um, How is it? Yeah, it's well yeah, done. There's no red, there's nothing. Just a medium rare if possible. Yeah. Solid and dry. And cheese. How much butter did you put in there? Um, I like some scampi with my butter. What's he trying to do? Kill me? No, but that's how he adds flavor, I guess. That adds that's his, flavor. That's his season. Scampi, rubbery, overcooked. The scampi's overcooked too? Yeah, rubbery, really hard and just. Just solid anywhere in the med. Food doesn't look like this, you know that? Yeah. Bloody hell. Can you get me the uh, chef's out, please? Chef Ramsey wants to see everybody outside. Before I start talking about the dishes, what was the fighting going on there? He just likes to come back and argue about pretty much nothing. Actually, when we get a complaint, I like to tell them what's going on, and they can't take criticism. No, that's not it. Let me you talk. like to make it seem like talk. you're better at everything so why are you still than anybody if I'm else. Talking? If I come back there and let them know, hey, this is dry, or hey, the hummus is messed no, up. No, we, we can accept that, but the fact that you come back there, oh, you guys can't cook, you guys are it's you guys not, are that. Okay. I don't say it the first time. No. I say it after the 13th table. Right. You like to say that we don't do after nothing the right. After the 13th table, table that complains. OK, OK. That's what I have every day. Can I start talking about my lunch? The combo plate, eggplant out of a can, hummus, bland, falafel, bland. Sam, you recommended lamb shank, but the bones were disintegrating. When the bones start disintegrating, that's three hours overcooked. I don't know what to tell you. Have you given up? Not yet. Top sirloin, it was miles away from medium rare. Mm. What are you oohing about? Shut up. Okay. No, no, I it's heard not, something earlier. nothing to do with you. Okay. What's wrong? He's making it seem like it's all my fault. He said, mm, mm, like I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, they so know they've said. been messing up all day before you even walked in. So when you know he was here, can't you just like step up? You should have stepped up. I'm telling you guys what's okay, going on. He wasn't in up. that position today. Stop putting the blame on him. You guys were He's cooking. The old cook. He's food. the one criticizing us. Okay. Even if he was criticizing, you guys, you guys cooked food. the food. That's what happened, right? That's what happened. You can try it. Tell me what you think. I, I've never seen anything like this. Have you given up? Kind of. Kind of. Do you care? Not really. It shows you don't care. Shrimp, they came swimming in a bowl of butter, overcooked. Didn't you guys see it? It's because we were busy arguing. I could hear it. So could your diners. Yeah, they just get up and leave because of that. Wow. I'm going to get some fresh air. This is my dad's restaurant. I do as much as I can to help him. But being forced to be here every day, you know, it's kind of like making me feel like I don't want to care. So you're not too happy, huh? Not really. And you? What's your problem? I just graduated high school. So who want to run this business? You blame your brother. Yeah, who have food and, and overcooked meat? Is it my fault? No, you do everything perfect. Since you're Mr. Yeah. Perfect, I can make better food. Why don't you serve dinner tonight? Yeah, I should, actually. Yeah, and yeah. I'll work outside. <laughs> That's what I thought. Don't step up to the plate. Your job is to put food on the grill. Why don't you make it put your job? Put food on the grill Why and sit there and watch it cook. Why don't you make it your job? Correctly? Make it your job. You don't know where you to do it better? Show you me don't you can do better. Right. Can you take it? Show me you can do you better. Can't take it off right. Show me you can do yeah. better. I'm in the front cleaning tables and cleaning everything up. The kitchen is not my problem. Go ahead. That's your role. That's what I thought. Bad. You cannot step up to Some the plate. Some cook you are, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Some son you are wanting to help. Shut the hell up. Nobody happy here. I don't know what the heck to do. I really don't know. OK, OK. Cook my food right, and you'll be fine. No, we won't be fine. After getting criticized by Chef Ramsay at lunch, Go do something about it. Do what? The family gets ready for dinner service. Oh, so you want to give it I'm to them cold. Yeah, and they have not taken a break from the fight. My job is to get from there to the table. Max, hey, go find something to do with your table. Hey! Stop, that's enough. Chef Ramsey. Hi. Hello. You have another sister? My mom. My mom. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to and meet you. And first name is? I'm Ahlam. Let's catch up, shall we? Let's have a little seat and sit down. Man, I have headache. 
I have had a brilliant. First of all, um, I must tell you, it looks like the uh, the kids are trapped in here. Is this what you wanted? No, not really. No. I feel sorry for the kids because they miss out so much for their life. They need yeah. to grow, go somewhere. But at the same time, he needs them. How do you manage? Bad. Very bad. I haven't been sleeping lately. But it's not healthy for your daughters and your sons to be in this environment seven days a week. They can't be chained to the restaurant. They need some space, right? Yeah, they do. I think if we don't stop it, you're going to lose them. OK. Tonight, I'm going to watch service, and we'll see how this place operates. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. Hi, welcome to Kebab Room. I need two regular salads. OK, we need a Greek salad, a waffle plate, and a chicken and lula. What are you just standing there for, man? Do something. OK, so who does what on the grill? We pretty much all split it up even. So there's not one person on the grill? No, no. Sam? No. No, we kind of just switch it off. You just switch it on off? Yeah. Yeah. Just leave it, just leave it. Take yeah. it out, yeah. Send it out. We really don't care how the food is cooked. I'm doing all this work from day to night, every day, and I don't even get paid. Table 14. This is beef and chicken. For 14? Falafel plate. Steak, medium. I asked for medium. This is like bloody. He wants this medium, you guys cooked it rare. Who cooked it? I did. It's a Vera. OK, I'll make a new one. Iman! What? It's a steak. It's well done. She wanted medium rare. Hey, look done. What do you want me to do? Shut up. Don't tell me look done. It's burned. How many steak we throw today, man? Every day I have to throw like 15, 20 like this. Every day. Sam. No. Yeah. They're, 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 they're rotten. They're rotten. See that. Look at this one here. Where's your walk-in? It's right here, inside. What's in here? Like a bathtub of parsley. Buckets of parsley. Chopped. That's a fresh. That's what we gathered today. Yeah, I know, but you're not using it today. No. We chop fresh parsley, all the flavor's gone. Yeah. You've got to use it immediately. What are they? They're celery leaves? Whoa. It's a brand new case. That says a statement that nobody cares in here. What is this? Look at that. What? This is two days ago. What do you mean two days ago? Two days ago. This is Tuesday. Tuesday. Sam, today's Saturday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Five days. Five days. Lamb shanks. Lamb shanks. It's just like a dumping ground. Look at this. Salad. It's rotten. And this one? It's tahini. Tahini. You don't think they'd empty that now? Put it in a smaller container? What a mess. Yeah. It is a mess. Oh, man. He gave me a full plate. He didn't eat it. What's wrong with it? It was still raw. Give him another one. He doesn't want another one. Man, I'm getting heart attack here. Rhonda, run this out. What are they? Chicken strips, the one we buy, the frozen one. You can't say that. You got two seconds, please. Sam. Come here, all of you. Look at that. Just touch that. I wouldn't serve that to my dog. What did they tell you? I didn't tell you don't serve it. And I don't know why we're doing it. Sam, you're in charge and you're serving raw chicken. I'm amazed that you're still open. Why are you serving? The outside is cooked. So I'm thinking the inside is cooked. Yes, you're chained to the business. Yes, you don't want to be here. But you cannot serve that <laughs> and expect to get away with it. Those kids drive me crazy, man. All what you want, finish the order and sit down. That's not where I can't even have time to sit down. What are you talking about? Oh, it's my kid's fault they do this. It's my kid's fault because of that. He don't listen. He doesn't care. When really it's his decision to keep us all here, 
He brought that upon himself. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Here. That's it. This is the last place. This is cruel all night long. Thank you, guys. Yeah, stay seated and tell them thank you. That was stupid. Oh, stay seated. Look who's talking. You're standing you right, right there, right what, there what? on your phone. What else are you stupid. doing? stupid. Get up. That's what I thought. Are you paying me? Are you my boss? You're stupid. Don't tell me what to do. You're stupid. It's annoying, I swear. It's a damn brick out of his Oh, here comes the stars of the night. It's my dad's restaurant. I don't have to do nothing. I can do whatever I want whenever I want. Oh, stop. Stop. Enough. You're stupid. You have a big mouth. Yeah, keep talking. Shut you your mouth. Saying? Shut up. Idiot. Dumbass. Yeah. So Waitress, garbage. Look who's talking. Yeah. I'm, I'm garbage. You're Please, more than garbage. Doing as much as I can I take you to the dumpster right now. It looks clearer than your face. Yeah, Shut enough, up. Huh? Do nothing around here now. All of a sudden, you act like you own the place. You can't have the damn customer right. You can't take it. Or you can't bring back drinks right, let alone help the yeah, customers. Yeah. Okay, well, get you inside. Do get inside. inside. You're useless. You You're useless. Until then, get out shut of my up. face. We can even run the food out and check the tables better than you, you guys can. At right. the same time. Cook your food right, and then you can serve it. No. Shut up. Shut up. Get out of my face. While Chef Ramsay continues to inspect the state of the restaurant, the family went out for fresh air. And what they got was a major brawl between Rhonda. You do nothing around here now. All of a sudden, you act like you own the place. And oldest son, Jamal. You're not even Thank here. You. You're not here either. No, never. Get your ass. Never. Keisha, you guys are full of You guys are full of Baba, who's here every day? Not you. Who's here every day? What, and you're open? Busy? Shut up. Uh, guys, guys, all of you. Stupid. Relax. Honestly, I mean, this does not feel like a family. And the way we've just behaved in the last five minutes is the way we've just conducted service over the last two hours. Disorganized, chaotic, and so fragmented. And the people suffering are the customers. Yeah? Jeez. Oh, boy. Those kids are dumbass. It's not good. What am I supposed to do? Tell me. It's not fair for me to stand there and get yelled at by every single one of them. For what I did was wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. That's not fair. Just calm down. Since his arrival, you guys take a seat. Chef Ramsay has witnessed constant bickering and fighting. OK. He realizes that much of it can be attributed to the feeling of being trapped in their father's restaurant. You've never done this. But what I want you to do now is to be honest with your father and explain that your lives and your careers are going elsewhere. I want you to be open. Tell them what you're feeling your frustrations, why you don't want to be here. Tell my dad? Yes. It's like gonna hurt him. This is gonna be tough, but you each have to stand up to him. You do not have to be here seven days a week. It's stopping now. You've gotta stay focused on what you wanna do now. Here he is, okay? I'm freaking out right now because I know my dad's gonna get hurt. I know he thinks that we love being here, but. We really don't. Yeah. So, there's something they would like to talk to you about. OK, I'm ready. Lena, why don't you go first? Let's go, darling. Seven. Hey. Come on. Um, so, even though we're here to help, we appreciate everything the restaurant has done for us. I need to focus on going in a different direction, becoming independent. We all just need a little bit of schedule thing where we're not here seven days a week, every single but one you, of us. You know, you're still too young right now. You're still a child for me. You're only 19 years old. There is a rule here. This is a family rule. It's not like what you want to do. You have to hear first from your dad and your mom, and then you can do it on your own. I don't think this is going to go as well as Chef Henry thinks it's going to go. 
My dad is not an open-minded person, like, at all. I am here to help you at the moment, and I've been here full-time, every single day, non-stop. But as the time comes, I kind of want to go my own way and do my own thing. How I'm going to let you go on your own and you're still shy? Sam, what you have got to stop doing is making them feel guilty. And because the restaurant's not making money, they're having to wear that jacket of burden. And it's not your daughter's fault that this is not working. I want them to understand that every day someone has to be here. But it's driving them apart. You have to understand when the time comes, we all have to do our own thing. What can I say? Let's get me. Yes, him. Um, I'm here to help you. But if I'm going to college, it can't be. I promise you, they're all here for you. And as well as this is tough, it's really important for them. <laughs> and I'm here for you as well. And yes, you've got every pressure, every bill, every demand on your shoulders, but we can't continue like this, buddy. OK? OK. Come on. <sighs> Seeing my father cry, hell is really hard for all of us. But how to do it, how to tell them the truth straight up. I know I've been here every day for the past um, four, five years. I don't always make it seem like I hate this place, but I do. <laughs> but when it changes, we're going to turn this place around. I'm not going anywhere for the short term. I'm going to be by your side. Let's get away. We argue, we fight, we kill each other here. All because, all because. <sighs> Nobody cares enough to try to try to do something about it. for you, but they have other aspirations and other dreams. And there comes a time when we all have to let go. And today is the beginning of that. Of course, makes sense. I can't stop them. Can't stop them. Get some fresh air. I'll see you in five minutes, okay? <laughs> I love you guys. I love you too, Dad. <laughs> I love every one of you. I want everybody to know that I'm here for everybody, anytime. <laughs> We're all here for you too. We're all gonna make an effort to make this. Better. It's gonna help it pick up. I hope so. In order to make it work. Stay up. Love you guys. I love you too. Dad. I love every one of you. I love you too, Dad. I love you. I love you too. With Sam and his children coming to an understanding. Right, let's go. Chef Ramsay can now begin to work on one of the other major problems of Sam's kebab room. Fresh, every time. The food. I'm going to make delicious shrimp and chicken kebabs done with freshness. 
When we're cooking kebabs, why don't we cook them on the skewer? It's so much more juicier, yeah, more flavor. Because when you're squeezing hell out of the food and you're pushing down, what do you think that's doing to the food? Getting all the juice out of it. Taking yes. all the juice out of there, exactly that. Cooking on the skewer gives us so much more control, much easier. And then, watching you all last night, have you any idea how many times you cross over each other? Right. We're going to have one person manning the grill, not four of you. Who's the best grill chef in here? Me. OK. You're going to be at the helm as it cooks. And I want you going over there and glazing that. Chef Ramsey opened my eyes to cook the right way. I was very happy to watch him because I want to learn more what I know. Your grill should be like a chessboard where you're manipulating all the time up and down. They come off, glaze them again. Cooking next to Chef Ramsey in one afternoon, I've learned more than I've ever had. How does it look? Amazing. It look beautiful. beautiful. Excellent. Very good. Now, we're not at an art gallery. Jump in and start tasting. Come on, Sam. <laughs> Dive in. <laughs> this looks like Malaysian food. Chicken tastes really good. Yeah. That shrimp was bomb. <laughs> Everybody was happy, and the food tastes delicious. Really, it tastes good. Oh, by the way, I haven't seen this for a long time, so I'm going to grab it now while I can. Quick smile, please. <laughs> Everybody look at me. <laughs> smile. <laughs> Excellent, thank you. Believe it or not, I'm ready right now to move forward. No more fighting, no more arguing. <laughs> While Chef Ramsay's plan to fix the food is now in motion, his team gets started on a massive overhaul of the restaurant. First of all, good morning. Oh, good morning. <laughs> okay. good morning. Good morning, Chef. How does it smell in here? Amazing. Amazing. Beautiful. Amazing. Wait until you see it. Come on, let us see. O-M-G. <laughs> OK, take off those blindfolds. Oh wow. Whoa. Welcome to the new Sam's. Look at this gorgeous room. <laughs> wow. Oh, my god. This is the place. This is a place unbelievable. Let me tell you something really important. This has been one of the biggest and most expensive transformations we've ever made. Ever! Wow. This... It looks like it. Wow. We got rid of that dark, dingy hole and transformed it into a casual, modern kebab house. Beautiful. Something to be proud of. Oh, my god. That's a color restaurant. Beautiful. Wow. The restaurant feels more open. Wow. A brand new carpet throughout. The salmon colored dirty walls have gone, and we've got this charcoal color set with these amazing art blocks. It brightens up the restaurant dramatically and gives it a nice modern touch. It's beautiful. Say. When I first stepped in this door, sitting down in the chair, I noticed a huge hole. Then when I looked around, there was holes in every chair. They've gone. Look at those babies. Brand new chairs. I see you got the chills, yeah. man. I know, me too. I see you got the chills. Sam, talk to me. I love it, man. You I love it? love it. It looks so gorgeous. They make me feel like I am in the heaven. Hey, Sam, how do you feel? Um, I'm in speechless. You're this speechless? Amazing. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Chef Ramsey. I don't know how I'm going to thank you. I appreciate that from the heart. Thank you, Sam. I know you mean that. I never thought my dad would ever be open to change. I'd see a new man. Let me give you a hug before you go. Let's go. Well, I'm not going anywhere. We've got a lot of work to do tonight. Oh, dad. Oh, my dad. He doesn't hug anyone. He doesn't even hug my mom. I like to see that smile on your face. I love you, man. I love you. I want to put the blindfold back on. I don't believe it's real. I don't believe it's real. Now that the much-needed makeover to Sam's kebab room has taken place... Let's go, Sam. Oh, my god! Chef Ramsay is ready to unveil a contemporary Mediterranean menu. Visually, what do you see? It's really beautiful. It looks it? delicious. That is sure to have the town of Monrovia buzzing. Dig in. Come on. Jump in, man. This is good. Amazing. Classically done. Absolutely delicious. I love the falafel. This is the kind of food we should have been serving here. I don't think I've ever been this excited or happy to come to work. This is how you make lunch. Uh, we do that in the house all the time. 
the food is amazing. I never thought my life I'm gonna have a restaurant like this today. Believe it or not, better than in Lebanon. Oh yeah, better than the whole Middle East. With the restaurant and family ready to face a new chapter. Make sure it doesn't get too thick. Chef Ramsay is happy to spend the day training and working in the kitchen. Okay. What I want you to do is work with two hands, not with one. Twice as quick. I'll okay. you try over there. Plate, plate. Nice. See what happens when you're organized? OK. Again, you are now in control. Table 12, fire. Keep it going, yes? Here's another chicken. The customers are raving about the transformations made to the decor and food. Oh, my god, it's not brown anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Oh, it's good. That's yes, really good. But the biggest transformation might just be the family themselves. Let's go, Abdul. We got this. Let's go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. One, two, three, four, table 10. They're working together, united, as a team in support of their father, Sam. Here's the plate. You got two behind you. Slide it up behind you, put two pictures on there. Everybody's just more calm. It's just more of a family now. This is your table thank 15. Thank you, thank you. Can I have a ketchup, please? Good. Teamwork. I'm very happy working in a restaurant like this. You know, before, I didn't want to be here. But now, I'm going to keep going strong until we can actually hire somebody to take my place for the long run. And not surprisingly, there's someone else besides the family who has a smile on his face. I am so proud of you all. Well done. You've got everything you need to make this restaurant a success. And when you come together, it's harmony. Big group hug. Let's put mom and dad in the middle. I never see my family happy like now. Before Chef Ramsey come in here, they're fighting all the time together. But everything has changed right now, and I hope it stay like that for the future. It's mom and dad. Open it. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's the moment I knew we had turned things around. Every time you think of falling out, go to that picture and remind yourself the importance of sticking together. Yes. OK? Thank you. Thank you, bud. Look after yourself, yes? Yeah. OK? I wish I'd see you again. Uh, you'll definitely see me again. Good night, guys. Thank you. OK. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Take care, guys. Thank you. <laughs> when I first arrived, there was so much tension in the air, we were bound to have an explosion. As a matter of fact, we had a few. But once the air cleared, the family finally came together, and we had a good, and I mean good, relaunch. Only hope now that Sam stays in complete control of his restaurant, but not his children. Wow. You say kebab, and I say kebab. After several successful months... Table five, fired. Paul Lina. You like it? Yeah. Thank you. Wow. Delicious. Sam is now able to give his children some time off. And for the first time in years, Sam's kebab room is higher up.